of my favorite questions that people ask is why handmade soap? Um, it's such a great question because so many people don't realize the history of soap. A lot of times when you go to the store you'll see um, bars that will be labeled beauty bars or moisturizing bars and the thing about it is that's because they're actually not soap. Factory made soap um, has a history to it that most people don't realize. Um, one of the things uh, with handmade soap is that the glycerin is actually naturally contained when you're making the soap. Whereas when you buy soap at the store and it's factory made, they actually remove the glycerin or eliminate it altogether. The way they do that is by adding um, chemicals, detergents, which are lathering agents. Lather is not something that actually even makes us clean. It's just something we've been programmed to be used to over so many years. Um, whereas in a handmade soap, it may not have quite as much lather to it, but it contains all of the natural glycerin. Um, when soap making, in soap making, there are two different processes that you can use. Um, and I use both, partly because, again, when I started, I just played and did a little bit of everything. Um, but partly because it, it does give a different look and texture to the soap. So um, both end up with the same great quality bar of soap. It just changes the look a little bit. So the hot process we do in large crock pots. And the only difference between your hot process soap and your cold process is that um, the glycerin actually comes into play as it heats up during the saponification process. You're physically heating the soap up, whereas cold process soap, you cover, we call it put it to bed, um, and it heats itself up naturally. And the difference really only comes in the final bar. Um, hot process can look more hand milled um, and rustic. Uh, the gentleman's bar would be a great example of that. Um, the oatmeal honey is another example of that. Um, just gives it a rustic feel. And then the cold process allows us to play a little bit. Um, and you'll see a little bit later on too, we will play um, the lavender soap is one of my favorites. It's a beautiful soap. It's a goat's milk soap that we do. Um, we color it with alkanet root powder but it has a beautiful swirl to it um, and again part of the process with the product is just making it look appealing to people and so um, based on kind of what you what you like either the rustic feel or kind of that smooth creamy look um, to the soap that's going to be the main difference between um, cold and hot process that's another thing too is people often ask if these are hand soaps and meant to be sort of on display um, in their guest bathroom. No soap that I make is meant for just a simple hand soap. Everything that I make is meant to be safe for the most sensitive of skin and it also has some skin benefit to it with the natural additives um, like the clays, herbs, mica minerals, food, things like pumpkin that we add to it as well.